from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so glad that you're here, because here we help to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. This is episode number 87 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one, The Cowboy Becomes a Symbol for America. Do you know who was most responsible for the cowboy becoming a symbol for America? Do the names uh, Roy Rogers or John Wayne come to mind? Well, the real person came riding down the trail long before those modern day cowboys. His first name was William. He was born in Scott County, Iowa, 1846, grew up on the prairie. His mother moved to Kansas in 1857 when his father died. And there he worked for a wagon freight company as a mounted messenger and wrangler. After trying his luck in the gold rush at Pikes Peak, he joined the Pony Express at the age of 14. Can you imagine that? Riding across the plains at the age of 14. They had advertised for skinny expert riders willing to risk death daily. Yo, he seemed to fit the bill. So in 1861, the Civil War broke out. William became a Union scout in campaigns against the Kiowa and Comanche. In 1863, he enlisted with the 7th Kansas Cavalry and saw action in Missouri and Tennessee. At the end of the war, William got married and continued to work as a scout and dispatch carrier for the Army in Kansas. Now, as the Kansas Pacific Railroad was building the railroad to the west, William was hired to hunt buffalo to feed the construction crews. The year was 1867. He became quite good at this trade. One day, he was challenged by another fellow named William to see who could shoot more buffalo in an eight-hour time period. He defeated William Comstock. The prize was a title that both men wanted. That title was Buffalo Bill. And that was the day that the legend of Buffalo Bill Cody was born. In a 17-month period, Buffalo Bill killed 4,280 head of buffalo. From 1868 until 1872, Cody was again scouting for the army, serving valiantly in numerous battles with several Indian tribes. For his skill and bravery, he was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. It was writer Easy C. Judson, writing dime novels under the name of Ned Buntline, who helped create the national folk hero status of Buffalo Bill. In his books beginning in 1869, Buntline wrote about him in a style combining fact and fiction that rivaled stories about Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone. In 1872, Buntline persuaded Cody to go into show business, depicting himself in a stage production called The Scouts of the Plains. Now, although Cody had never had formal training as an actor, he proved to have a natural flair for the theater. Audiences for the next 11 seasons flocked to see Buffalo Bill on stage. He even published some of his own Buffalo Bill dime novels. His winter seasons were spent on the stage while his summers were spent as a scout for the 5th Cavalry in the West. It was in 1883 in Omaha, Nebraska that his abilities as a showman really began to shine. That's when Cody launched the Wild West show with real cowboys and real Indians portraying the real West. The show ran for 30 years, 20 of those in Europe. Thanks to Buffalo Bill, the cowboy was becoming a symbol for America. He created an outdoor extravaganza that dramatized frontier life, a buffalo hunt with real buffaloes, an Indian attack on a stagecoach, with real Indians, a Pony Express ride, and reenactment of Custer's Last Stand. Some of the Indians who had actually fought in that battle were recruited to participate. And I think this is so amazing. Cody's productions were a combination of a circus and a history lesson. And one of his show discoveries was the famous sharpshooter Annie Oakley but he included real Indians and gave them jobs in his shows. Isn't that a nice turnaround? In 1887, Buffalo Bill was a feature attraction at Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. 
There was quite a sensation when, in honor of Cody, Queen Victoria unexpectedly saluted the American flag during his performance. By the turn of the century, Buffalo Bill was probably the most famous and most recognizable man in the world. He carried the West and the American Indians into the 20th century. Now, here comes the heart of this story. Even though he had fought Indians in the past, Cody now became their champion. He made certain that they were treated with respect in his shows. In addition to the rights of Indians, he used his fame and public attention as a forum for Western causes, for the rights of women, and for conservation. As early as 1879, he cautioned the U.S. government, never make a single promise to the Indians that is not fulfilled. He and the other frontier scouts respected the Indian. Cody felt that every Indian conflict resulted from broken promises and broken treaties by the government. He felt that America was the Indian's heritage and that the Indian had only fought for what was his. Isn't that incredible? Buffalo Bill Cody was a major contributor in the creation of the myth of the American West as seen in Hollywood movies and on television. However, in his eventual treatment of the American Indian, he also created a very special definition for the word respect. Wow. So here's the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV. It's an affirmation of respect. You may want to write it down. Realizing that we are all in this together, I am respectful of the rights of others. Realizing that we are all in this thing together, I am respectful of the rights of others. If you like these messages and many people around the world find them highly beneficial, please forward this to five people you know. Suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and get them to subscribe to these free weekly broadcasts on Boaz Power TV. I appreciate your help. You are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness. I see it in you. You are respectful and you are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.